Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today I want to look at this really lovely Low and Fletcher LNF padlock. And this sort of padlock was used to lock up electricity meters in the UK so that they could not be tampered with. This one says Southern Electricity Board, but I've seen ones with East Midlands Electricity Board and all sorts of other ones too. So yes, these were quite common at one point, but they have been surpassed since, and there are a few variants. This one actually has two little levers in it, and they used to have an anti-tamper piece of paper or card put in this lock. Why? Well, this would secure the electric meter, so you couldn't tamper with it, or I guess if it was a coin meter, remove the coins. And the only way in would be with the right key, straight through the paper like this, and you'd open it up like that, and you'd be able to then remove the key and remove the lock. However, of course, if you lock that back up, then anybody who was inspecting your meter would easily be able to tell that somebody had tried to tamper with it, which is a pretty big crime here in the UK. So, uh, is it easily picked? Well, let's ignore the anti-tamper piece of paper for now and have a go at picking this. You can actually tension this lock off the shackle so we can pull this and just use a deep enough hook and if you can just see down on the inside of there, you might be able to see a couple of levers just there and there. And you can basically pull up on the shackle, find the binding lever, press down, and you should hear a little like click, and then press the other lever down. And yep, there we go, we get the open. Now, I did see that the lock picking lawyer had done a video on this exact model of lock. And he mentioned on a Twitter that there's a bypass. And I thought, could I independently come up with the bypass? And the answer is yes, uh, the one that I discovered was the exact same one that um, he had already thought of. So all credit to Lock Viking Lawyer for this. Uh, but, but yeah, can you guess what it is? Can you guess, if you haven't seen that video, how you can bypass this anti-tamper mechanism? Well, let's lock it back up and then I'll show you. You can use a little probe like this, something quite thin. This was actually a broken uh, key extractor and you can actually go down the side of the lock here. So again, you just pull up, you pop in a probe, and it's a little bit fiddly, but if you can try to just find the um, binding levers again by going down the side of the shackle this time, there we go, that's one, and there's two, then we can get it open just like that. So yeah, uh, it's a really interesting little padlock. Um, I don't know how effective it actually was in terms of stopping people from tampering with a meter or removing the coins from the uh, the coin-operated electricity meters that we used to have or still have, I think. I don't even know. Um, but nevertheless, it's a very cool piece of history and a very gorgeous-looking little lock to boot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very short little video. I certainly enjoy this lock. If you have a comment on this lot, please leave a comment below. I'll read them all, reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and want to see more content like this, then please do consider subscribing because it really helps my channel out. And I'll see you all next time.